Good morning friends. This is the dot three and I welcome you all again. Today's session we will solve the Kale problem 6 using MATLAB. The question states that the sum of the squares of the first natural number is 35. While the square of the sum of the first natural number is 30. So let me explain you what the question is trying to say. So in first case what we are doing. First we are calculating the square of each of the number then we are adding all of the value but in second case first we are calculating the sum of the each of the natural numbers then we are calculating the square of that number so the difference between these two number is 2640 now the question asks if to find out the difference of these two things for the first 100 natural numbers okay I have written a MATLAB code for you. Let me first check whether our code is working good or not. Then I will explain you that how the code is working. Okay. So, answer is correct. 2640. Now let me check for 100 natural numbers which is 2516450. So, this is the project error official website. You can check the answer is 2516450. So our answer is correct okay now let me explain you that how the code is working so to do that let me put a debug command here and let me put this symbol here and give the number n okay i would save it Let me clear all before running this code. So you'll see. So in first case, n value is 10. So the value of square is coming 35, and here it is coming 3025. The difference is 2640. So let me explain you what is happening in this code. For that, let me First run this command and let me explain you suppose a is a vector starting from 1 and going to 10 so we will have the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now b is a vector which is calculating the square of the each of the numbers so what I can do I can do this and I can put Sorry, I can calculate this. So, B is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, 100. So, these numbers are the square of the each of the numbers available in the vector A. Okay. So, now in the third case, I am calculating sum of the each of the numbers available in the vector B, which is 385, which is happening in this line. Okay. Now let me explain you what is happening in this line. For that, let me define another vector which is starting from 1 and ending at 10. Okay. Now let me calculate the sum of the each of the numbers first, which is E elements available in the vector E, okay, which is 55. Now let me calculate the square of this number. So this is coming 3025. So we have this number G3025 and we have some G. Now let me calculate the difference between these two or let me just give this function name difference which is G minus C which is 640. This is happening in this code. I hope you would have understood this code. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe our channel. We'll see you in the upcoming videos. Thank you very much.